only reason that I've been able to start and have a sustainable arts practice and a career in the arts industry is because of Curious Works and the opportunities they gave me. So what I really want to do in my work is to make sure that other people are able to have those same opportunities, especially young people, especially young people of color, especially young people from Western Sydney. So that's who I am and that's what I care about. Let's hear more from the panelists. Uh, yeah, as you heard, my name is Sean Spinner. I'm a filmmaker from Western Sydney. My passion is into learning and listening to the stories of people around me and discovering new things about you know, everyone and everything. I am uh, Huyen Yuen and I'm a graphic designer. My passion is in design with purpose, um, telling stories, delivering messages that, you know, impact the society the, the better. My name is Savani and I am a filmmaker as well, mostly behind the camera. With my work, I want to renew people's perspectives um, through the lens. My passion is in documentary and um, I'm at the Fun Park documentary. So uh, please watch it on December 5th. Please do take that advice. Watch Fun People's Fun Park. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I am Daisy. I have been a curious creator since 2015. I am a filmmaker, facilitator. What I really care about is giving voice to young people of Western Sydney and making sure that we are giving them opportunities to feel empowered and through paid work, I guess. So, yeah. So I got my first job um, in publishing and then I got my first job in the arts at Curious Works a year after. And I, I moved into freelance full time and it was like it was so exciting but it's kind of like a current job is your last job sometimes it creates you know anxiety for me yeah it's just kind of like trying to find a balance between a few days doing in-house and then a few days pursuing my freelance jobs and I've, I've tried I'm, I'm trying that right now and so far is is working quite nicely for me it's like yeah you gotta have the ability to keep your mental well-being like good and then, you know, and then you have a bit of your time and that is when you start your freelance or your creative pursuits, like in other things, you know, filmmaking or whatever. I've also found it a bit of a struggle and hard, you know, you don't necessarily get taught the, the, like, the necessary skills to like get out there and find a job or like do taxes properly. You know? or, like just if we had more of that, then I think it'd be a, a bigger push for us, especially for young people, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think you don't really get taught how to work as an artist unless you're mm -hmm. lucky enough yeah. to have people to show you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And I think it's definitely super hard to be able to get that independence unless you're able to work in some kind of structure and some kind of organization. And so we've heard a lot this year from arts organizations in particular who are looking for diverse leadership to be the new young diverse leaders of our company. Why is that? What is it that really is stopping young people from taking these leadership positions? <laughs> An internship to me just seems like such a white privilege thing. Like specifically when I think about opportunities that are out there for young people in leadership roles, they're often advertised as like an internship or sometimes ridiculous hours like three days or for a full five days of work where they need to do non-paid and advertise as something that is a great opportunity for them which it is but it, the problem with that is that a lot of young people especially young people from western sydney who might have families depending on them or who might be going through financial hardship just can't take on those opportunities how does someone like that then get positions into a role that they want when it's advertised as an internship where they have to find their way there with no money and then get paid nothing for five days of work for a period of time. It's just not going to happen. So that's one of the, like, the biggest barriers that I can think of when it comes to giving young people like, opportunities and why young people aren't pursuing like, those leadership things because the, just the structure of how it's being done is just not working. What I think that helped me was to connect with my own peers that I relate to and, um, and share my passions with. I am passionate about documentary and, and I want to give back to the community. Surround yourself with people who think like you and you, know, and you trust them and that will really take you far. Like you've been in a, like a really bad place. Talk to someone, please. <laughs> like, do not, like, you know, do not immerse yourself with these negative thoughts. Just go out there, please. Another thing I want to say is there's this need to prove um, your job is a job, especially when you're coming from a migrant background. So please be creative. Do not give up. And <laughs> yeah, like creativity can really go um, beyond what you know. What are other things that you think really help people 
like young people especially take on those new positions take on those leadership opportunities definitely in terms of like self-doubt especially with like job applications unless i see that i hit like i tick every single box i won't apply for it um just because i think oh i'm not like i'm not good enough for the role or um you know they they're looking for someone really experienced and generally also like the language in it is just like makes it seem like like you need to be like at your top game to to apply for this role for example with my role like i am now working at pyt fairfield three days a week um i wouldn't have applied for this role unless caitlin like said hey i think you'd be great for this role i did apply and then i didn't get it the first time then the role came available again and I went to um, apply again and Kaz actually spoke to me and she was like, she's the artistic director of PYT and she was like, hey, Daisy, you do hit these points. This is how you hit these points and you're amazing. You don't really think that as a young person unless someone actually encourages you and tells you that you can do something. I, I just find that like from being, you know, a young person from Western Sydney, not really thinking one, that you're educated enough or two, that you're capable or even that, you know, the jobs and experiences you've done are enough. And they are usually. I really think that if someone really cares about having young people in these roles, that they actually need to go out there and seek them. It's not about just putting it out there and being like, someone will apply because they won't. They won't apply unless you tell them you're great at this. I think you'd be good at it. And this is why.